first championship. I'm sure Patrick will be reminded of that several times. Going after it strong. Kiracek thinks about a three on the floor. Loses the handle again. And trying to get They're chanting under Patrick. the skin of the opposing team. Now all they want to think about is Patrick Ewing sitting them down once in a while. Uh, well, you know it's unfair for Patrick to have to answer questions about not winning a championship when there was a guy like Michael in the league, John. How does that affect a guy like him? Uh, well, I don't think it affects him a whole lot because he's been accustomed to coming off the bench a lot of his career. High floater, a little too deep. Harrington with the rebound, finds Isley. Spreewell now. To Harrington cutting down the lane. Harrington with eight points. Now, should we be surprised, though? It's a night to honor and what? He's a, and he's a, a Georgetown Town center. center. I knew it's a walk in the park for him. McGrady on Spreewell swings it out to Garrity. Just inside the arc, no good. Spreewell comes up with it. Drops it into Spreewell, into a double team. Tries to come out of it, loses the handle. Down to Weatherspoon for the easy juice. One years ago, Jordan and Carolina beat you and Georgetown in the national title game. You've never won an NBA title, mainly because of this guy right here. Just hard. Oh, no, he practiced hard. I mean, for the most part, I think, I mean, this part, you know, him being here and Oak being in the bar. I, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how you guys Get on, I never when got dunked on, John. Getting Come on. dunked on. Shannon Anderson for a three that it... Doliak cuts down, gives it right back to Sprewell. Sasser trying to shade him to the baseline. Harrington, who's having a great night. Trace McGrady, but he still hasn't caught Yeah, him. he's still behind him. No, you got a good point there. I just like to bring up Tracy McGrady. Center stepping back on people. Harrington's got 15 points and seven rebounds. Clippers and the Blazers coming up in the second half. Witherspoon's been successful. Vaughn again wants a closer look. That one comes up short. Rebound McGrady. Good and called for the ball. He's in position. McGrady can't rattle one home. That John. <laughs> it's de <laughs> definitely an afterthought. It's somewhat of a letdown. Won't dance down. Witherspoon, great job with the rebound. Spreewell thought about a three. Vaughn got out there quickly. Harrington now with 17 points. Strategy can you employ, but to get the ball out of his hands. The clerk went up. It was knocked out of his hands. So down to earth. Houston has McGrady on him. Spreewell wants to take the rookie gear check. Swings it wide open. Isley with a three, and it's good. Three. Odd rotation for, for such a great shooter. Then you see Latrell Sprewell. Uh, look at how open Howard Isley is. You better be sure. Giracek puts it on the floor. Doliak gets over there and forces a turnover. That move. Isley, nice pass down to Weatherspoon. Spoon swings it out to Sprewell. Three-pointer is collectively as a team. They're not going to go as far as they want in the playoffs. Brady again with a little flip. But the finals should have beat Houston that year. Now, a lot of people wear, you know, different athletes' jerseys, but they get them like so Um, I just got to continue to work on trying to stay healthy for a long period of time. It was like, he was like a scared child, but uh, he's really handled himself really well. He takes great care of himself. He's out there and gives his heart and soul to the game, but Alonzo will be back. Certainly hope so. Anderson. He has fouled defensively. I thought somebody was getting dunked on here. He gets his step toward the lane. You see the defenders coming there at the last minute. Both a rookie. Brady double double with assists and you look at what they have done tonight. As I said, that's right where they've been in the first three games. Three wilds jump shot from the baseline, halfway down and pops up. Sprewell pulls up. Three pointer is good with the rebound. Yeah, that wasn't one of the better possessions for the Magic. That time they got caught holding on to the ball too long. Sprewell with another three! Far and Tracy McGrady, and that takes a lot out of your legs, John. Well, he came into the, the overtime with just 10 points. He's got 18 now, and long distance. I mean, he was pure from there, and then the second one surprised me a bit. Well, Gierczyk did the right thing on the first one, backing up a little bit. Sprewell hasn't knocked down. Close. 
McGrady comes back and Sprewell ran it all the way and got the steal. Oh, because Latrell Sprewell has taken this one over. Yeah, you know, forget about the triple-double. What about the plays down the stretch? Looking for some help. Gets a tough shot up. Comes right to Sprewell. Five seconds. Sprewell. McGrady playing excellent defense, moving his feet, keeping him out of the lane. Latrell has an opportunity at it. Much the way Weatherspoon had. For team, you know that, you know that, and he sent him out on the court with those words, guys. Trell's free well, says. Block is down to eight. Isley trying to lose Armstrong. He hits the deck. Sprewell another three, and it's good. Oh. All the next points in overtime. In both overtimes. Just lighten it up from the outside. This time he's coming down. Backs gear check up. Drops the three-pointer off, this time coming off the screen. It's another big three in the second overtime. Starts it off hitting a big three over Gooden. And the last one where he drains it. You have to know then, it's amazing what it's done for this team. Gooden's got 20 points and 17 rebounds. Springwell again! Bench. The starting center for the Knicks has the bad big toe. But Springwell bailing the Knicks out time and time again. Kind of fitting that he's the guy to go up there. Now that's efficient. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Tracy McGrady is the most efficient. I'm not sure why he's bothering to drive to the hole. Overtime. Yeah, Latrell, unbelievable play down the stretch. You had a triple double before we went into overtime, wow. but then you really just started scoring. How were you able to take over down the stretch? Well, we were down, and you know they got off to a good start in that first overtime. So I was able to get behind the three a couple of times and knock down a few shots for us. But it was a total team effort. We had to double McGrady because he's so good, and uh, we just forced the other guys to beat us. You know, and they, they did a good job of spreading the ball around and getting good open shots. But we finally got the rotations down, and we were able to capitalize on some misses. It was a big night in this building with Patrick Ewing's number being retired and so many people here to watch. How much more important did it make this? A double overtime wins big regardless, but with him here watching. I, I think this night is really about Patrick and what he's accomplished here with the Knicks. I mean, he's the greatest player to ever wear the Knicks uniform. A lot of people, I think, agree with that. And uh, it's all about him tonight. So I'm just glad I was able to be here and experience this. It's the first time I've seen somebody, you know, getting their number retired and, and their jersey up in the rafters. I, I just hope I'm able to have that same experience one day. Congratulations. Thank you. Senator